Hey everybody, uh, did a review on the Night Force NX8 1 to 8 pretty soon after it initially came out, almost half a decade ago, and I really like it. It's done great for me, and I ended up buying another one with the FC DMX reticle. The one on the right has the original reticle. Um, kind of a big deal because the new one gives us wind holds and it's a really nice reticle in my opinion this is the original it's really tough to film through we're on 8x there we go and the new reticle trying to get you all a good clean reticle picture there you go as you may have noted the eye boxes on these at 8x are pretty touchy I'm going to move them down to 6 power, and at 6 power I think you'll also notice a lot more light, a lot better image quality. Um, a 1 to 8 erector assembly in a 30 millimeter tube is a tall order. I think Night Force did really well with what they were working with, but these really shine at 6x. See how much brighter that image is? It's a lot easier to get in behind, both for the camera and if you're shooting. There you go. Optically speaking, I feel like these are similar. Um, I don't notice much, if any, difference between the two as far as clarity, chromatic aberration, or any other aspects of the optical situation there. And I have an Acro P2 on top of the new one. And I'm running a Leupold Delta Point Pro NV on top of my original. They both do really well um, under night vision or without, and I just prefer a closed emitter. The weight difference really isn't that much. So everybody wants to know, how do these do on one power? How does the new reticle change that aspect of the optic? So I had to set my recording equipment aka cell phone down there and I'm gonna turn these both to level 8 brightness and let you see how 1x does that's one power on the new reticle Let me turn it up a little brighter for you. That was setting 8 with a new battery. Let's go on ahead and take it up to the nuclear setting 10. It's washing out a little bit with the camera here, but it is, it is nuclear bright as you can see. And that's a pretty true 1x also. All right, let's check out the original. I'm going to go ahead and start it out at 8x so you can get a feel for that in comparison. Now, I set both of these scopes to negative three-quarter diopter. That's how Night Force ships these, and I wanted them to be equal, and that fits my eyes as well, negative three-quarter. have to turn it down to 1x there. And 
This has a little bit tighter dot than the new reticle. Both look really good on 1X. There is a little bit of fisheye, a little bit of magnification. They are what I call tube optics. It's a scope. It's not going to be a perfect unity, but these are very close. Go ahead and check this out on setting 10. As bright as it gets. I don't know if you can tell through the camera here, but this is bright. It is like an aim point. Ridiculously bright. I'm going to go back to our new optic, the FC DMX. Not quite as tight of a central dot as the original reticle, but it's still plenty good in my opinion. I think our garage is about 25 or 30 yards away. Kind of give you an idea of things. And this dot is very bright as well. So let me turn the brightness, the illumination, to more appropriate settings for use with magnification and let y'all see how they look on 8x with the reticles illuminated. I really, really like the new reticle for 4 power and above, 6 power and above preferably, um, with the size of the mill hash marks etc so this is the original reticle on 8 power we're at setting 5 this is the new reticle on 8 power also setting 5 I'm going to aim both of these at the sky. Hopefully it'll pan out for us here. I want you to be able to see the stadia here. There you go. Kind of give you an idea of the reticle. You can Google it online, but Seeing it is, I don't know, I kind of like it. I kind of appreciate being able to visualize it. Anyway, long story short, um, both of these piggyback optics do more or less the same. I do like the acro. A little bit better the dot seems a little crisper and I like the enclosed housing uh, as for the NX8s the old reticle versus the new reticle I strongly prefer the new reticle it allows for more precision at distance my big complaint was that huge center dot on the original reticle offered in these did not do anyone any favors for precision. And one more time, I'm gonna drop them to one power and crank them up to setting eight and let you see how they look on one power. There is a difference, but functionally, I think it's fine. There you go. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed this comparison.